This is the peaceful sea, and beneath its depth, the kingdom of Atlantis, ruled by the all-powerful Prince Namor, the Submariner. I am that prince, once the enemy of mankind and all, because of the most evil mind in creation. Let me roll back the tides of time and tell you that story. It begins in the fortified isle of Latveria. Allies for peace. Bah! This is my greatest chance to strike. Now, when they least expect it, my attack must be foolproof, irresistible, all-powerful. Only by scoring the greatest victory of all time can I wipe out the humiliations of the past. The accursed Alliance for Peace is the greatest fighting team the world has ever known. Only one thing will be able to destroy them, an even greater team of super-powered foes. Yes, a veritable army of the most deadly villains alive. And by skillfully manipulating my high-frequency emotion charger, I can fan the flames of hatred in the heart of every evil menace in existence. I shall transform their peace day into their day of final destruction. Meanwhile, at the dedication ceremony, be on guard, friends. My mutant brain senses danger. Look, a drill pouring through the floor of the lobby. Ah, little did they dream that the mole man would dare attempt such a brazen attack. Smash everything, my brainless slave. Professor X calling, red alert, red alert, mayday, mayday. Hurry, the professor needs us. But who dare threaten us now? Whoever it is, we have the power to handle them. An immodest remark, but voracious with all, partner. Hurry, there he is. Blundering fools! My sun staff will drive you back. He will keep him off balance telekinetically. One high intensity power blast ought to stop his army of subterraneans. If you'll wait after class, we'll be glad to review this lesson in tactics. Now all we've got to do is find a way to cork him up. We've got them on the run. They're racing back underground. I suppose we leave that to our frigid fighting friend. Yes, sir. One cork coming up. There. That solid mass of ice will seal the opening and push them steadily down as it melts. Ah! The overconfident mole man failed. But I will reach others with my emotion machine. Some inner voice is urging that the Mandarin must attack the Allies for peace. And it seems that the same inner voice is whispering to many other familiar figures as well. Emissaries of evil from out of the past, the present, and even the future. But luckily, not all who head for the peace building are perpetrators of evil. One of mankind's defenders. He must be annihilated. None shall stop the super sprawl from his mission of destruction. Four. The vengeful Thunder God makes his awesome wrath felt. At that moment, in far off Atlantis, I was receiving the unexpected news of the fearful invasion of evil which menaced all of mankind. And I learned that the greatest danger of all was suddenly rising out of the sea. A tumor. A tumor. Merciless warlord of the deep determines that this is the golden moment to attack with the might of his legions, and conquer a world. Far below the surface, the Submariner waited and watched and wondered if this would be the end of the human race. First, the villains attempt to destroy the peace building, then the city. My goal is nothing less than conquest. Look out for his eye blast ray! Avengers assemble. We don't dare be defeated. A bad thinker and his awesome android whose body structure can be changed to match any form. I've got the stuff. It takes more than a metal shell to beat me. My power transistors are the match of a dozen overgrown lumps of putty. Faster! Faster! Hydra will pay double if our plan succeeds. This vortex bomb will level the peace building within seconds. 
But for every super menace, there seems to be a superhero to rise in fearless challenge. Look out! We're under attack! Stop shooting, you fool! You'll set off the bomb! Jump! Leave him alone on the truck! It will blow up as soon as it hits something! Right. But it'll hit what I aim it for. So far, so good. Now, to turn this bomb back on the agents of evil. Atuma is astounded at the careening truck coming his way. The water driver cushioned the bomb's impact. No one is harmed except Atuma's vast force. But have all the evil forces been vanquished? In a whirling, wondrous whirlpool, the thunderstruck Atuma and his invasion forces are pulled back to the watery depths by the irresistible giant vortex. With the tumor gone, we can easily mop up the others. Battle is not yet ended. There is still the Submariner. Look, there's a whole school of porpoise keeping pace with the ship. I wonder why. Let us visit the coast and see how mankind fares in its desperate battle. Ah, I finally found him. Now to attract his attention. What now? A surface mortal dares invade the privacy of Prince Namor? I come in peace, Submariner. Our meeting has been inevitable and long delayed. Behold the face of your ally, the one who shares your ambition, the total defeat of all mankind. That is strong talk from a stranger. Never fear. I am strong. Strong enough to join the powers of science to those of darkness. Show me the puny mortal who does not tremble at the name of Dr. Doom. I have a proposition for you. But first, a demonstration of my little toy. I call this cylinder a grabber. At a touch of this control knob, I can launch it in any direction. Observe. Traveling on its magnetic beam, the grabber swiftly races across the floor of the ocean and homes in on the head of a huge pagan idol mired for centuries at the bottom of the sea. The huge mass begins to stir. Slowly it is lifted and drifts like a feather on the powerful magnetic current troubled by the grabber. There. When I release this knob, my grabber brings back its catch, no matter what its size or weight. Truly fantastic. That head weighs many tons. Magnetic force is unlimited. And when amplified, it has the strength of giants. All that power is locked within this small cylinder. <laughs> 